Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. I am actually. I'm. I, 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 I'm feeling. I, there is some anxiety I'm feeling at the moment because just this morning I popped a pimple and hundreds of little spiders ran out of it. Um, I'm hoping that you include Kirsty's thing from earlier, or that's going to seem like a really, really very weird thing to say. But nevertheless, that's okay. Go with whatever. Go with your instincts. Um, yeah, look, I was going to talk about something, but I've, I, I had a plan, I've changed, because something has just come up today where um, it relates to an incident from about six months ago, uh, before all this pandemonium that we're in now, uh, but somebody filmed it. it. It was an incident at a park and somebody filmed it and I've heard that they, they might be going to, the press might have gotten hold of it, so I want to sort of be on the front foot and kind of, um, you know, I, look, I don't... I don't think I'm a sex pest. I wouldn't think I am. Pretty sure. No, I'm confident. No, I'm 100% confident that I'm, I wouldn't surely, no, I'm probably not one, I wouldn't think. Um, but, but something's come out and it's not going to look great for me. Um, we, we, were, um, we were at the park and, and I would, don't touch anything, don't touch anything. <laughs> we were at the park and um, my wife and my daughter Bella and I, we were walking our dog and uh, we went over to a Mr Whippy van and uh, Bella got an, got an ice cream and the, she was standing in front of me and the gentleman handed the ice cream to her and she just glanced back over her shoulder and said, he'll pay. And I said, I've never seen this girl before in my life. <laughs> and the guy laughed and I paid and we sort of went off and Bella's like, she was furious. She's just like, why would you say that? Why would you say that? And I'm like, it was a joke. Just, yeah, well, it wasn't funny at all. It wasn't funny at all. Right, she's 12 and, she's, and she was very, she was blushing actually. I felt bad. Blushing's weird, isn't it? Like when we feel we've done something, we're mortified by it. And it, wouldn't you think that your body should be on your side? That's, but no, it's like, hey everyone, check me out. I feel like a dickhead. Hey, you over here, look at me because I don't want you to. It's weird, it's weird. But, um, but we went over to the, uh, the play equipment there and... Uh, uh, Bella got onto the flying fox and it wasn't one of those swings on a chain, it was an actual flying bat that she got and I'm like, get off that um, Australian dog bird. Um, no, it was the flying fox thing. And uh, I went over to the um, toilet block and I um, really, I just wanted to walk across the park, I think, more than anything, just to have a bit of space to think. Um, but I, I went into the toilet block and... Um, I went into the foyer area, I don't know if you call it a foyer, in a toilet block, there was no chandelier or concierge, but into the little kind of nothing area. And then I came around, and there was a wall there, and I came around, and on the other side of the wall there were three urinals, and they were all occupied. And so I just, you know, just the reflex was just to step back into the little nothing area on the other side of the wall. Um, but I hadn't realised, I hadn't kind of clocked consciously, that on this wall here, there was a, a wash basin and a mirror. So from where I was standing, I got like just a perfect unhindered view of the man urinating just there. And I, had, I wasn't even consciously aware of it. I was just sort of off in la la land. And I don't know if you, yeah, you know when there's, if you're looking at a scene and there's no movement in it and then there's a little bit of movement of some sort, your eye just naturally just is drawn to that movement. And I didn't really even know I'd done it, but I stood there and I just kind of, I just locked onto the urine cascading out of the eye of that man's penis. And... And it was just, like, it was actually quiet. It was lovely. Like, it was very, it was like a Zen water feature, you know. It's just very relaxing. It was catching the light, a beautiful sort of scintillating saffron hue. And, um, and then suddenly I realised what I was doing. I, I have no idea how long I was standing there looking at the, the eye of that man's penis. But um, might have been, honestly, it might have been five seconds. It might have been 50 seconds. I'm not sure. But then I realised, and I just got this weird feeling in my back. Don't know what that was all about. And uh, really don't, and you don't either. We'll never know. None of us will ever know what that weird feeling I got. It was sort of an adrenaline thing in my back. And, uh, and I thought, oh, I'm looking at a man's penis. And that's not great. And then I sort of travelled up his body, and he was just looking straight at me. So I, and I just went, which I think was worse, wasn't it? Because it was like I'd come into the toilet block, gone, I'm not here for a poo or a wee, just here to check that out. All right, see you later. You know, um... Anyway, I went out and my, my, um, my wife and Bella, they were playing with the frisbee and I thought, I'll take Max for a walk because walking dogs, it's very relaxing. There's something about dogs that it's, it is very calming, isn't it, to be in the company of 
of dogs. I'm not sure how that works, but so I, I took Max, and Max is a little, he's a cross between a Chihuahua and a uh, Jack Russell. He's a fantastic little character, and he's also very uninhibited sexually. And as we made our way over to the little enclave of other dog walkers, uh, Max spotted a, a beautiful, fluffy little Pomeranian and just zipped over there, and for the last two or three feet, he actually went onto his hind legs and ran like a man. And then he just <laughs> ripped it by the ears, and he just started sort of uh, making love to its eye, you know, really quiet, like a little sort of jackhammer. He was very keen and, you know, I felt just, I was just so embarrassed by it. And she was just like, she's sort of pulling her dog away and, you know, um, my dog was just gripping on there, wouldn't, wouldn't let go. And then a frisbee landed there and my wife picked it up and she's trying to get the dog away and I reached down to, to pull... To pull my dog off, my dog off, my dog, hang on. I reached down. I'm so, it's a big deal for me, all right? I'm very anxious. Um, and then um, I noticed that my daughter, Bella, had really bad sunburn, like starting to come on. And I, I thought, look, Bella, if you're going to, do you want to stay with a frisbee? And she's, yes, no, well, then you're going to have to put some sunscreen on. She goes, oh, I don't want to put sunscreen on. I was taking her across to the car, and, um, and out of the corner of my eye, I, I noticed that the, the woman with the Pomeranian, she was talking to the gentleman who came out of the urinal. They were together. Actually, I thought that's not a, you know, I'm not a big fan of that situation. And, um, I, but I said to, and then I remembered, haven't got any sunscreen. I, we've run out of sunscreen. I thought, well, I've got that kind of hoodie in the car. She can wear the hoodie. I said, you're going to have to wear my hoodie. And she's like, I'm not going to wear your hoodie. And I said, you have to wear it. And I grabbed her by the wrist and I was dragging her towards the car. I'm just going, I don't want to go to the car. I don't want to go to the car. And then we noticed the, the gentleman was just right there. And she looked at him and looked at me and went, I've never seen this man before in my life. <laughs> I might go, I think. Thanks very much. <laughs> See ya.